Hey, yo, what's up, gamers? Welcome back to another video. It's me again, Bill Zotella. Today, I experienced movie sadness for the first time ever. You see, my entire life, I've I've never really been that sad. I've never really gone sad during movies or television shows. But today, I felt sad during movies and television shows. I did not think that this was possible, because I I had always just assumed that people who cry during television shows were strange and I did not understand them because why in the world would you cry over something fictional that you are not that you are very far away from oh this uh, generally speaking of course um but today I felt sad um spoiler alert this video is, is, is I'm I'm starting off with a massive spoiler alert if you have not watched past season three of the good doctor then you should i i'd strongly advise you click off this video because because this video is just me crying about it well not crying about it i've gotten over it. it's hard for me to cry now um but i'll give you three seconds one two I'm sad because at the end of season three of The Good Doctor, Dr. Melendez dies. Dr. Melendez was my favorite and he died and I'm, I'm sad and that I'm, I'm never going to get over this. You see, it started off at the start of today and I, I was going to wake up because you see my mother and I, we like to watch The Good Doctor together. This is some background information and today we were going to finish watching season three together um i had i didn't really know what was gonna happen i knew that dr melendez was gonna leave after season three but i did not anticipate his death um but today i woke up and i was just like yay i'm so excited to watch the good doctor i went down down to the lounge and i greeted my mom i said hi mom good morning and my mom said tower dr melendez is going to die and immediately i became really 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 upset and so i i had a while i i went into the bathroom to have a shower except i did not have a shower i i was upset and so i sat down and i cried instead and then afterwards i went down to the lounge and i began watching the last few episodes of season three of the good doctor and um because you see we were busy, very busy today because we need to go to the gym and then we were going to go to the cinemas and we were going to do some shopping so i i did not get to binge watch the last three episodes because we were initially we were on season three episode 17 um and so i watched like one episode and then we had to go to the cinemas i mean no wait, no we went to the gym first and like the entire day I, w I was just really sad because I knew that Dr. Melendez was going to die but I just didn't know when and that made me sad. It was very slow, it was very agonizing so the entire day I was just really sad about that. And then it got to the point a few hours ago and, and he died and, and, and I burst down into tears. My mother saw me cry and this was the first time I have ever cried during a movie or a television show and that made me sad. Basically what I'm saying is don't spoil television shows at the start of the day or else it's going to make people sad. Um, so yeah, that was quite disappointing, but that's alright because we went shopping today and that, that was cool. I like going shopping. I bought this cute unicorn pin to compensate because I was sad and this made me happy. It was three dollars from the dollar store. That's kind of a ripoff. It's called a dollar store for a reason, not the three dollar store. But look, it's cool. It, it lights up. This makes me happy. I love unicorn things. Unicorn things make me so happy. Today, throughout the entire day, this thing, this was my emotional support. And also, I spent $20 buying this thing, $20 of my own money. It is a two-in-one shower gel and shampoo. It smells like the mixed punch monster energy, which smells like cough medicine, which is tasty. Totally worth the 20 bucks. I'm going to be using this every day. And then I bought some cool makeup as well. 
I, hey, look, you guys can, you guys can see the reflection. That's pretty cool. I like this. I'm going to be wearing this a lot. And also some new concealer, which is cool. I'm out of breath. I just finished crying. I'm so sad. And then I told my brother about it for some emotional support. By the way, when my mom and I went to the cinemas, I was sad as well. But then I got distracted by the movie. We watched Inside Out 2. That was a pretty cool movie. I kind of forgot what it was about, though. Anyways, yeah, when I was talking to my brother for some emotional support, his advice was for me to rewatch the good doctor again from the start but then skip the last two episodes where dr melendez is dying so that i become happy again and that's that's what i did that's what i did my mom and i we've we started we rewatch it we are rewatching the good doctor now from the start and now i i have to pretend that dr melendez stays alive I'm sad that he got ridden out. Uh, why did he have to die? I don't want him to die. He was such a good do He was like the best surgeon, I think. And he was attractive, really attractive. So I don't know why he had to go. Why couldn't they have just kicked someone else out? I am sad. Talking about this has made me sad. I am going to go off and cry now. But before I go off and do that, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get all these updates. Bye-bye.